Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a special one. Obviously, you guys can see this. This is uh, Treehouse Juicely. So, this is actually courtesy of Funky Brewing. Thank you so much. He uh, sent me some home brews to review, and he sent me a Google Doc with like three explanations. So I was like, oh yeah, there's three home brews, and then like, there's an extra like bubble wrap thing. I was like, oh, it's probably just another homebrew, like a double or something cool. Like I didn't do an unboxing. I was like, cool, whatever. So um, I did a couple of little reviews the other day and then went in the fridge, picked one out. And I was like, pulled it out. I was like, whoa. <laughs> so thank you. So I got three homebrews and, 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 and a treehouse. So I'm going to have to DM him right now. Thank you so much. I, I didn't expect that. He just said he's going to send some homebrews. So thank you, Funky Brew. Never had this. What is juiciest? Blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. Wait, wait, wait. So what what is Juiceliest? Oh, there you go. I I I blah blah blah. It's actually really annoying to read the uh, silver on, but it's it's a proprietary blend of fruit added to Julius, which makes sense. Juiceliest. And by the way, this is dumb fresh. This was he he I got this earlier in the week. He 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 must have sent this to me like a week fresh. Cause like this is like less than two weeks fresh. Yeah, wow. So Julius, with fruit added. Hey man, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to check it out. Looks like Julius. Um, it has a ah uh, yeah, it, it like I feel like the Julius uh the some of the like specifically Trias myself some of the beers look a little bit murkier. So it does have a little bit of that extra murk to it. Like it doesn't have that kind of like golden color where you can sort of see like it's quite milky looking. And then it almost has this like, like greenish thing hue to it. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of very green, but I guess fruit edition, whatever. Okay, so it looks good. Okay. <laughs> okay. So underneath you get definitely Julius. It's got that kind of like, I don't know, for some reason Julius always, or some of their beers, have this kind of like dusty chalky thing, like even on the nose. I don't know what it is, but maybe a little bit of the banana ester thing, but like, it's got this just like, yeah, like it, you can almost smell the malts underneath. It, it has this flowery to do to it. And not to diss tray out that they're like just chuck, chucking straight, like, you know, all purpose flour into the beer, but like, it just has this kind of pale maltiness. It's like very doughy, very flowery. And then obviously on the nose, I mean, it's just fruity. Like it almost reminds me of the, um, the the New Belgium like Juice Force blah 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 beers where it's like so fruity that you're like hops can't do this. Well, obviously they've used real fruit, so that's a benefit. But yeah, it's just way too fruity. Like it's just extra melange of like what is that? It's just extra tropical. So it's like peaches, nectarine, mango, um, juicy pulpy orange. I suspect stone fruit is in here, though. I Like, it's very stone fruity. Like, I highly suspect it's like peaches, nectarines, or something like that. Cheers. So, yeah, that's quite nice. Like, it clearly is the beer. And just like the nose, it has this kind of, like, dusty... Honestly, it's like... It, it's almost like when you're, like, making, like, a, a dough dish and, like, the flour... Um, gets on your hands or like you're eating something with flour on it and it has this kind of like dusty flowery thing on it. Mm. Like you go to like an artisanal, uh, sorry, artisanal bakery and there's bread that's baked but there's like this, that residual flour that's still on the bread. Quite nice and fruity. Um, definitely Julius on the back end so this ends up a little bit green and a little bit chalky but definitely a little bit of green on the back palate. Like the base beer just... The base beer, I would argue, is eh, like it, it does have a little bit dominant of this kind of like green polyphenol kind of vegetal thing. Mm. Then I'm getting the big juicy orange and, um, and um, mango character. The top note is quite nice. Again, I'm tasting like yellow and orange like fruits. So I'm, I'm thinking like mango, pineapple, passion fruit, stone fruit. Peaches, nectarines, like somewhere in that range. Some, so, somewhere two or three out of those, I want to guess, is like in here. Yeah. So that's a nice top note. In general, the beer is very green. It's very green, a little bit chalky. So it's nice that the fruit addition is there to sort of cover up that. But it's, it's, it's again, a very, um, it doesn't taste artificial, which is nice, obviously. So it's not like a juice force kind of to do, but. 
it is only a top four, uh, top note. It's not really um, punching into the actual body and flavor of the beer and doesn't make it, like I honestly sort of wish it maybe was a little bit more quote unquote like, like a, you know, one of those like slushy, fruity, fruity kettle sour thingies, like maybe a little bit more fruit because it does just end up a little bit too green polyphenol dry for me. So maybe Joe's right. Maybe I got it. You know, Joe. Joe likes Asian. He's about Asian IPAs, right? Um, it is very green. Wow. Hate to say it, man. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. Like if you didn't tell me this was Treehouse, I'd be like, eh, whatever. And I, I, I want to be honest with you guys. You know, I'm a Treehouse fanboy, but very green, very dry on the back end. I'm honestly like. Fighting, I'm gonna fight to finish it. I'm gonna finish it, but but the day you start pouring out, uh, like you know, treehouse beers, yikes. Um, it's fine. I'm gonna finish it. I feel like I'm getting this rating out a lot. 83, 83. That's juiciest. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I it, it's it's just it's long, it's very green, and it, it I've had worse. And the combination of extra chalky makes it way worse, but it doesn't have that. And obviously it has beautiful parts about it. The aromatics, the top note of that juice, the, the fruit addition, the mouthfeel. Um, it smells amazing. But yeah, until next time, guys, cheers. Uh, thank you so much, Funky Brewing. 83, cheers later.